released in 1968, the movie Bullet starred Steve McQueen, but it was the 1968 Mustang Fastback that truly stole the show. The film revolutionized how Hollywood depicted cops, introducing on-location shooting, and reflecting the turbulent times of its release. Bullet marked a significant shift in the way action sequences were filmed, with its iconic car chase seen through the streets of San Francisco. This groundbreaking approach to filmmaking set a new standard for future movies, showcasing the raw and gritty reality of the city. Beyond its technical innovations, Bullet also captured the zeitgeist of the late 1960s, reflecting the social and political upheaval of the time. The film's protagonist, Frank Bullet, was a complex and nuanced character embodying the anti-establishment sentiment that was prevalent during this era. In short, Bullet was more than just a movie. It was a cultural phenomenon that left an indelible mark on Hollywood and society as a whole. Its influence can still be felt today, making it a true classic that continues to resonate with audiences worldwide. In 1968, the movie Bullet made its debut, offering viewers a thrilling experience with its unique characteristics. Notably, it contained minimal profanity and no nudity, which was a refreshing change compared to other films of that era. This aspect alone made it more accessible to a wider range of audiences who appreciated its cleaner approach to storytelling. The plot of Bullet, however, could be somewhat perplexing, keeping viewers guessing and fully engaged throughout the movie. While some may have found this element frustrating, others saw it as an exciting challenge that added to the overall lure of the film. One particular scene from Bullet has stood out over the years, the iconic chase sequence. This high-speed pursuit through the streets of San Francisco remains etched in many cinema enthusiasts' minds even today. What sets this scene apart is the ingenious use of remote cameras strategically placed inside the cars involved in the chase. As a result, the audience felt as if they were right there in the vehicle alongside Steve McQueen, experiencing every twist and turn firsthand. This groundbreaking technique brought unprecedented realism to the big screen and revolutionized how action sequences would be filmed moving forward. To this day, the bullet chase scene continues to resonate among fans of both classic and contemporary cinema alike. The main character in Bullet, played by Steve McQueen, was inspired by a real-life San Francisco homicide detective named Dave Toshke. Toshke was well known for his work on the Zodiac killings, which took place in the late 1960s and early 1970s. McQueen's portrayal of the character was based on Toshke's tough and tenacious approach to solving crimes. Robert Vaughn, who played a supporting role in the movie, initially had reservations about the script. However, he was eventually persuaded to participate due to increasing offers of money. Vaughn's character added an additional layer of complexity to the film, and his performance was well received by audiences and critics alike. Bullet is remembered for its iconic car chase scene, which takes place on the hilly streets of San Francisco. The scene, which features a green Ford Mustang, and a black Dodge Charger is considered one of the greatest car chases in cinema history. The movie's focus on action and suspense helped to establish McQueen as a leading man and solidified his status as a Hollywood star. Overall, Bullet is a classic example of a police procedural film with a gritty and realistic portrayal of detective work. The movie's enduring popularity is a testament to the appeal of the genre and the strength of McQueen's performance as the tough-as-nails detective. In the 1968 movie Bullet, actor Steve McQueen delivered what he considered his finest performance and the one he was most proud of. McQueen's longtime friend, stunt driver Bud Eakins, played a crucial role in the film's most famous scene, the dramatic jump from The Great Escape. Eakins' stunt work was a highlight of Bullet, which features several high-speed car chases through the streets of San Francisco. The jump scene, in particular, has become iconic and is often cited as one of the greatest movie stunts of all time. Eakin's expertise and experience as a stunt driver were invaluable to the film's success, and his friendship with McQueen added an extra layer of authenticity to their on-screen partnership. McQueen's performance in Bullet was a testament to his versatility as an actor and his ability to convincingly portray a tough, no-nonsense cop. The film's success helped solidify his status as a leading man and cemented his place in movie history. Eakin's stunt work in Bullet was just one example of his many contributions to the world of film. His skill and professionalism were highly regarded in the industry, and he worked on numerous other movies throughout his career. In Bullet, McQueen, and Eakins created a classic film that continues to resonate with audiences today. Their partnership on the project was a true meeting of minds, with McQueen's acting prowess 
and Eakin's stunt driving expertise combining to create a truly captivating experience. The film's enduring popularity is a testament to the power of their collaboration and the lasting impact they made on the world of cinema. Steve McQueen, known for his daring feats both on and off screen, brought an unmatched authenticity to his roles through his dedication to performing many of his own stunts. This commitment was evident in the 1968 film Bullet, where he played Frank Bullet, a determined detective intent on solving a high-profile crime. During the iconic car chase scene, which remains one of the most thrilling sequences ever filmed, McQueen insisted on being close to the action. He could often be seen with his head out the window, gripping the steering wheel tightly while navigating the narrow streets of San Francisco. Although professionals handled the most hazardous jumps and maneuvers, McQueen's presence behind the wheel significantly contributed to the realism that has made this sequence so timelessly captivating. His willingness to push boundaries for the sake of authenticity allowed audiences to fully immerse themselves in the heart-pounding excitement of the pursuit. In 1968, the movie Bullet made waves with its groundbreaking use of special effects. The film's creators turned to squibs, small explosive devices, to add a new level of realism to the on-screen violence. These squibs were equipped with blood packets, creating a more believable and shocking representation of gunshot wounds. This innovative approach was a significant departure from the more subdued depictions of violence in previous films. Director Peter Yates played a crucial role in the film's success, employing a keen eye for detail and a dedication to authenticity. One notable example of this can be seen in the film's use of color. In order to prevent the blood from blending in and becoming less noticeable, Yates made the deliberate decision to avoid using red vehicles in the movie. This small detail helped to ensure that the impact of the violence was not lost on the audience. Another memorable moment in Bullet comes in the form of an unscripted scene, showcasing the raw talent and improvisational skills of the film star, Steve McQueen. During a high-speed car chase, McQueen's character was meant to perform a burnout, spinning the car's tires to create smoke and heat. However, McQueen accidentally missed his turn, causing the car to spin out in the opposite direction. Instead of cutting the scene and starting again, Yates decided to keep the mistake in the final film. This unplanned moment adds a sense of authenticity and excitement to the already thrilling chase sequence. In Bullet, it's clear that the film's creators were dedicated to pushing the boundaries of what was possible in cinema. Through their innovative use of squibs, thoughtful production decisions, and willingness to embrace the unexpected, they created a classic that continues to captivate audiences to this day. In the 1968 movie Bullet, the chase scene music stands out for its notable absence. Composer Lalo Schifrin made a bold decision to rely solely on the powerful soundtrack, allowing the intense car chase to speak for itself. The result is a gripping sequence that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. The chase scenes in Bullet were filmed at breakneck speeds, with the cars reaching over 110 miles per hour. However, director Peter Yates called for a more moderate pace during filming, asking for speeds around 75-80 miles per hour. This decision added to the realism of the scene, making it feel more authentic and thrilling. The high-speed chases in Bullet are a testament to the film's enduring appeal and impact on cinema history. The movie's classic car chase scene has become a benchmark for action films, inspiring countless imitations and tributes in the years since its release. The decision to forego music and focus on the powerful soundtrack and breakneck speeds has proven to be a winning formula, making Bullet a must-see for any fan of classic cinema. In the making of this classic, known as Bullet, one particular scene became iconic, the car chase. This thrilling sequence took three weeks to film, resulting in nine minutes and 42 seconds of intense action. Interestingly, this exciting part of the movie wasn't even included in the initial script. At first, the story revolved around Detective Frank Bullitt as a Boston police officer. But the captivating car chase we now associate with the film was added during production. This addition transformed the movie into a must-watch, leaving a lasting impact on audiences and the world of cinema. Another fascinating detail surrounding the filming of Bullet involves the majestic Golden Gate Bridge. Although San Francisco serves as the backdrop for much of the movie, permission to shoot scenes directly on the bridge was denied. Nonetheless, the city's unique charm remains vivid throughout the picture, contributing to its timeless appeal. In 1968, Bullet made waves in the film industry with its unique editing style. 
the entire movie was edited in cuts, with only two exceptions where dissolves were used. This choice created a fast-paced and engaging experience for viewers. One of the notable characters in the film was played by Jacqueline Bisset. Her role involved working on a model of a modernistic fountain named Quebec Libre. Although her character's work was not completed until 1971, it was still a significant aspect of the movie. This classic film is known for its innovative editing style and the inclusion of Jacqueline Bisset's role in shaping a piece of San Francisco's modern art landscape. The fountain, Quebec Libre, still stands as a testament to the film's impact on the city's culture. The film's editing and Bisset's role may seem like small details, but they played a crucial part in the overall success of the movie. Even today, the influence of Bullet can be seen in modern filmmaking and art. In Steve McQueen's iconic portrayal of Lieutenant Frank Bullet in the 1968 movie Bullet, his attire plays a significant role in establishing his character. At the start of the film, we see Bullet dressed in a traditional navy blue suit, complete with a white shirt and tie, while he meets with his superior, Captain Sam Bennett, played by Norman Fell. This formal look reflects the serious nature of their conversation and the importance of Bullet's position as a police officer. However, it is Bullet's more casual style that truly sets him apart. As the weekend approaches, we see Bullet adopt a more laid-back wardrobe that consists of a tan corduroy jacket, light blue turtleneck sweater, and gray slacks. This outfit perfectly encapsulates the relaxed dress code allowed for plainclothes officers during their time off duty. The rugged yet sophisticated appearance of Bullet's attire complements McQueen's own persona and adds to the overall coolness factor of the character. The contrast between Bullet's formal and casual look serves to highlight the duality of his personality, one who can seamlessly switch between being a dedicated law enforcement official and leading a life outside of work. Moreover, the choice of clothing also speaks volumes about the era in which the movie was set, reflecting the changing attitudes towards fashion and personal expression during the late 1960s. Ultimately, Bullet's attire becomes an integral part of his identity, leaving a lasting impression on viewers even today. The Bullet Mustang, a 1968 model, gained its iconic status in the film industry through its appearance in the movie Bullet. This Highland Green painted car was carefully selected due to the cooperation between Ford and Warner Brothers. The Mustang's rugged and aggressive look perfectly embodied the character of Frank Bullet, played by Steve McQueen. To prepare the Mustang for its starring role, Max Balkowski, a well-known race car driver and mechanic, was called upon to modify the car. Balchowski's expertise in vehicle customization led to several significant modifications to enhance the Mustang's performance and durability. These modifications included the installation of a 390 cubic inch V engine, a four-speed manual transmission, and heavy-duty suspension components. Balchowski also suggested using a Dodge Charger for the chase scenes, which added an extra layer of excitement to the film. The decision to include the Charger in the chase scenes created a thrilling and unforgettable sequence as the two cars raced through the streets of San Francisco. In conclusion, the Mustang's role in Bullet was made possible through the collaboration between Ford and Warner Brothers, as well as the expert modifications made by Max Balchowski. The resulting car became an iconic symbol of the movie and a beloved classic among car enthusiasts and moviegoers alike. In the 1968 movie Bullet, two Ford Mustangs were used for filming. One of these Mustangs was equipped with a GT package, while the other was not. However, both cars were modified to give them a similar appearance for the movie. After filming, one of the Mustangs was sold within the studio. Later, in 1974, the Mustang that had been sold by the studio was advertised for sale in a road and track magazine ad. A man from Madison, New Jersey, saw the ad and decided to purchase the car for $6,000. After buying the car, he used it as a regular driver for several years before eventually deciding to store it away. The Mustang's journey from a starring role in Bullet to a regular driver and then to storage is a fascinating one. It's a reminder of how iconic cars used in movies can have a life beyond the silver screen, often taking on a new identity as a cherished possession for their lucky owners. The Mustang, a Ford model made famous by the 1968 movie Bullet, was hidden in plain sight for years before being rediscovered. This classic film, known for its thrilling car chase scenes, was produced for $550 million and grossed $43 million in the U.S., making it the fourth highest grossing film of that year. The iconic car, 
a Highland Green 1968 Ford Mustang GT, was driven by Steve McQueen in the movie. After filming, the car was sold to a private owner, and its whereabouts remained unknown for decades. In 2018, it resurfaced and was sold at auction for $344 million, a testament to the enduring appeal of this film and its impact on automotive history. The movie's success can be attributed to a number of factors. The gripping storyline, centered around a San Francisco police detective tasked with protecting a key witness, kept audiences on the edge of their seats. The film's realistic and gritty depiction of police work was a departure from the glamorous portrayals seen in many movies of the time. The car chase scenes, set against the backdrop of the hilly streets of San Francisco, became legendary. The Mustang, with its sleek design and powerful engine, was the perfect vehicle for the high-speed pursuits. The film's soundtrack, featuring a jazz score by Lalo Schifrin, added to the overall atmosphere and helped to heighten the tension. In the end, Bullet was more than just a movie, it was a cultural phenomenon that left a lasting mark on both the film and automotive industries. Its influence can still be seen today in the countless films and TV shows that have tried to recreate the magic of that iconic car chase. Critics considered Bullet one of the best films of 1968, and for good reason. This classic action thriller, directed by Peter Yates, captivated audiences with its high-speed car chases and gritty realism. The film star, Steve McQueen, was at the height of his career, delivering a powerful performance as the tough and tenacious detective Frank Bullet. The movie's car chase scene, which takes place on the hilly streets of San Francisco, is widely regarded as one of the greatest in cinema history. The scene, which was shot in a single take, features McQueen behind the wheel of a 1968 Ford Mustang GT, weaving in and out of traffic and narrowly avoiding collisions. The sequence is a thrilling display of driving skill and cinematic artistry, and it helped to cement Bullet's reputation as a groundbreaking film. Beyond its action sequences, Bullet is also noteworthy for its realistic portrayal of police work. The film script, which was written by Alan Trussman and Harry Kleiner, is based on the novel Mute Witness by Robert L. Fish. It follows Bullet as he investigates a complex case involving organized crime and political corruption. The film's attention to detail, from its depiction of police procedures to its use of authentic locations, gives it a sense of authenticity that was rare for action films of the time. The film's critical success helped to establish McQueen as a major star, and it also boosted the career of director Peter Yates. Yates would go on to direct a number of other successful films, including Breaking Away and The Dresser. Bullet's influence can also be seen in a number of subsequent action films, including The French Connection and The Seven Ups. In short, Bullet is a classic example of 1960s action cinema, with its thrilling car chases, gritty realism, and powerful performances. The film's enduring popularity is a testament to its quality, and it remains a must-see for fans of the genre. Bullet, a groundbreaking police thriller, debuted in 1968. This classic stars Steve McQueen as Frank Bullet, a determined detective in San Francisco. The movie follows Bullet's pursuit of criminals involved in a witness protection program murder. The story unfolds amidst the hilly streets and iconic landmarks of San Francisco. The car chase scene, particularly memorable, takes place on its steep roads, highlighting the city's unique landscape. Frank Bullitt is portrayed as a focused yet compassionate cop who faces challenges both professionally and personally. His romantic interest, Kathy, played by Jacqueline Bisset, adds depth to his character while challenging him to find balance between work and personal life. Robert Vaughn plays the political antagonist, further complicating Bullet's mission. Bullet received critical acclaim and several award nominations. In 1969, it won an Academy Award for Best Film Editing. Its impact transcended cinema, influencing various films and television shows over the years. Even today, it remains cherished among movie enthusiasts for its intriguing narrative and lasting legacy. This classic has undoubtedly left a significant mark in Hollywood's annals. Step into the world of Bullet and experience its enthralling tale firsthand. The casting process for the 1968 movie Bullet was a careful selection of talents tailored to the film's gritty, realistic style. Steve McQueen, known for his rugged charm, was a natural fit for the lead role of Frank Bullet. The film's director, Peter Yates, was impressed by McQueen's intensity and authenticity which he believed would resonate with audiences. The role of Bullet's love interest, Kathy, was given to Jacqueline Bisset. Her audition showcased her ability to portray strength 
and vulnerability, a crucial balance for the character. Bissett's chemistry with McQueen was also a significant factor in her casting. Robert Vaughn, a seasoned actor, was cast as the political nemesis, Chalmers. His experience and ability to portray a complex antagonist made him an ideal choice. The character's manipulative and powerful demeanor was a stark contrast to McQueen's straightforwardness, adding depth to their rivalry. Don Gordon, who played Bullet's partner, Del Jetty, was a longtime friend and colleague of McQueen. Their off-screen friendship translated into a believable on-screen partnership. Gordon's understated performance provided a solid support system for McQueen's leading role. The casting of Bullet was a careful blend of talent, friendship, and chemistry. Each actor brought their unique strengths to the table, creating a dynamic and engaging film. The characters' interactions, fueled by the actors' performances, added a layer of realism that has made Bullet a classic in the world of cinema. Peter Yates, the director of Bullet, brought a unique vision to life with this 1968 classic film. Known for his ability to create tension and suspense through visual storytelling, Yates drew inspiration from French New Wave cinema. This influence is evident in the film's innovative use of location shooting and naturalistic acting style. Yates' creative influences extended to the world of literature as well. He was particularly drawn to the works of Ernest Hemingway, which emphasized understated emotion and concise dialogue. This affinity for minimalism shaped Yates' approach to Bullet, resulting in a taut, efficient narrative that places equal emphasis on character development and action sequences. Collaboration was key to Yates' directorial vision. He worked closely with Steve McQueen, who played the titular role, to develop a nuanced portrayal of the character. Their partnership resulted in a performance that was both physically and emotionally compelling. Yates also collaborated extensively with the film's cinematographer, William Fraker, to create a visual style that was both gritty and elegant. One of the most iconic elements of Bullet is its groundbreaking car chase sequence. Yates and Fraker meticulously planned and executed this sequence using multiple cameras and innovative camera angles to capture the thrilling pursuit. The result is a visceral, exhilarating experience that has become synonymous with the film itself. In addition to his technical prowess, Yates was known for his ability to elicit powerful performances from his actors. In Bullet, he worked closely with McQueen, Jacqueline Bisset, and Robert Vaughn to create a complex web of relationships and motivations. Yates' collaborative approach extended to the film's crew as well, resulting in a cohesive, harmonious production. Yates' directorial vision for Bullet was characterized by a commitment to realism, a focus on character development, and a mastery of visual storytelling. His ability to collaborate effectively with actors and crew members alike resulted in a film that has endured as a classic of the action genre. The 1968 classic film Bullet is known for its gripping car chase scenes and realistic set designs. The production faced various logistical challenges but overcame them through innovative techniques and careful planning. The set designers aimed to create an authentic environment, paying attention to every detail. For instance, they aged the wallpaper in Steve McQueen's character's apartment by baking it in an oven to achieve the desired worn-out look. They even went so far as to hire a specialist to create a realistic-looking pigeon coop on the roof of the building. When it came to location scouting, San Francisco was the perfect choice due to its steep hills and winding roads. However, filming on these busy streets presented numerous obstacles. To minimize disruption, the crew shot most of the car chase scene during weekends or late at night when traffic was lighter. Additionally, they had to obtain permits from multiple city departments and coordinate with local law enforcement agencies. One notable challenge involved closing down several blocks of downtown San Francisco for a high-speed car chase sequence. This required extensive negotiations with business owners and city officials. Ultimately, the production team agreed to compensate businesses for lost revenue during filming and work closely with the police department to maintain public safety. Another groundbreaking aspect of Bullet was its editing style. Editor Frank P. Keller used then innovative techniques like jump cuts and match cuts to heighten tension and enhance continuity. These methods helped propel the action forward, making the car chases more thrilling and immersive for viewers. Despite the many hurdles encountered throughout production, the dedication and innovation of the cast and crew resulted in a timeless piece of cinema. From intricately designed sets to breathtaking stunts, Bullet remains a captivating testament to the art of filmmaking. The creation of the film's score and soundtrack for Bullet in 1968 was a collaborative effort between composer Lalo Schifrin 
and musician Bud Schenck. The music they crafted complements the narrative and emotional tone of the movie exceptionally well. Lalo Schifrin, an Argentine composer known for his versatility, drew inspiration from jazz and classical music to create the score. He aimed to capture the raw energy and intensity of the car chases and the quiet, tense moments in the film. In an interview, Schifrin stated, I wanted to create something that would resonate with the audience and enhance their experience. The soundtrack features a mix of instrumental pieces and songs that reflect the mood of the scenes. For instance, the song I Want to Hold Your Hand by the Beatles is used to highlight Steve McQueen's character's cool and detached demeanor. Skiffrin's composition Shifting Gears complements the iconic car chase scene with its fast-paced rhythm and pulsating beats. Bud Shank, a renowned jazz musician, contributed to the soundtrack by playing the saxophone. His improvisational style brought a sense of urgency and excitement to the music, particularly in the car chase scene. Shank's contribution was essential in creating the film's distinctive sound. The music in Bullet is a testament to the power of collaboration between composers and musicians. By working together, they created a soundtrack that not only complements the narrative, but also stands on its own as a piece of art. The music's ability to resonate with audiences even today is a testament to their enduring contributions to the world of film music. One of the most iconic scenes in Bullet is the car chase through the streets of San Francisco. Steve McQueen, who plays Frank Bullet, masterfully performs in this high-speed pursuit. Director Peter Yates chose to film the scene with a minimum of dialogue, relying instead on the visceral excitement of the chase. Cinematographer William Fraker's use of handheld cameras and real locations adds to the gritty realism. McQueen, a former race car driver, performed many of his own stunts, contributing to the authenticity of the scene. The sound of screeching tires and roaring engines, combined with the tight editing, keeps the audience on the edge of their seats. Yates reportedly shot over 90 minutes of footage to create the final 10-minute sequence. Another memorable scene is the hospital sequence, where Bullet waits anxiously for his friend and witness Chalmers to come out of surgery. The tension is palpable as McQueen's face reflects a myriad of emotions, fear, worry, and determination. The dimly lit hospital corridors and the eerie silence add to the suspense. Director Yates used long takes and close-ups to capture the raw emotion of the scene. McQueen's understated performance speaks volumes, demonstrating his ability to convey complex emotions with minimal dialogue. The impact of this scene lies in its simplicity and realism, making it a standout moment in the film. These iconic scenes have had a lasting impact on cinema. The car chase scene, in particular, has been endlessly imitated but never equaled. It revolutionized the way action sequences were filmed and edited, setting a new standard for realism and intensity. The hospital scene, on the other hand, showcases McQueen's extraordinary talent as an actor, elevating the film from a simple action thriller to a compelling character study. The 1968 movie Bullet, starring Steve McQueen, made a significant impact on popular culture. Its high-speed car chase through the streets of San Francisco became an iconic scene, often imitated but never surpassed. This thrilling sequence, along with McQueen's cool and rugged persona, helped the film resonate deeply with audiences. Bullet was more than just action and suspense. It contributed to discussions on relevant social themes of the time. The film's protagonist, Frank Bullet, was a complex character, a tough cop with a strong sense of justice and integrity. This portrayal challenged the traditional image of law enforcement officers, often depicted as corrupt or inept in films of the era. Moreover, the film's depiction of San Francisco's diverse neighborhoods and urban landscape was a fresh backdrop for a police thriller. It provided a realistic setting that many viewers could relate to, further adding to the film's appeal. Bullet's influence extended beyond the big screen. The car chase scene sparked a trend in filmmaking, with many subsequent movies attempting to replicate its intensity and realism. The movie soundtrack, featuring Lalo Schifrin's jazz score, also left a mark, influencing the music of numerous films and television shows. In essence, Bullet was a game-changer. Its innovative filmmaking techniques, complex characters, and realistic setting resonated with audiences, influencing pop culture, and contributing to discussions on social themes. The film's impact transcended its time, leaving a lasting mark in the world of cinema. Bullet, the 1968 movie starring Steve McQueen, received critical acclaim for its innovative approach to the action genre. The New York Times praised the film for its non-stop excitement and superbly photographed car chase scenes. 
The Chicago Sun-Times' Roger Ebert awarded the film three and a half stars, highlighting the extraordinary car chase and McQueen's terrific performance. Audiences were also captivated by the film's thrilling action and tight plot. Bullet became a cultural phenomenon, with its iconic car chase through the streets of San Francisco still celebrated today. The film received several award nominations, including five Academy Award nominations. It won for Best Film Editing and Best Sound. The film's editor, Frank P. Keller, and sound designer, William Edmondson, were recognized for their exceptional work. These accolades not only validated the film's quality, but also highlighted the importance of editing and sound design in the filmmaking process. The film's success also solidified McQueen's status as a leading man, an action star. His performance in Bullet is often considered one of his best, showcasing his rugged charm and acting prowess. In conclusion, the critical reception and awards received by Bullet not only recognized the film's innovative approach to the action genre, but also validated the contributions of its cast and crew. The film's impact transcended the world of cinema, leaving a lasting mark on popular culture. The filming of Bullet in 1968 was filled with excitement and challenges. Steve McQueen, known for his intense preparation, learned to perform high-speed driving stunts himself. This commitment led to one of the most thrilling car chase scenes in cinema history, shot on the hilly streets of San Francisco. The chase involved two cars, a 1968 Ford Mustang and a 1968 Dodge Charger, weaving through traffic at breakneck speeds. To capture the action, the crew used innovative techniques. They mounted cameras on the cars, providing a first-person perspective during the chase. This approach added a new level of intensity and realism to the scene. However, the intense filming conditions took a toll on the cars. Both the Mustang and the Charger suffered significant damage during the shoot. The Mustang, in particular, required extensive repairs after filming. The film's director, Peter Yates, was no stranger to action films. He brought a unique vision to Bullet, emphasizing realism over spectacle. This approach was a departure from the flashy style of many action films of the time. Despite the challenges, the cast and crew remained dedicated to their work. They knew they were creating something special, a film that would leave a lasting impact on the genre. Today, Bullet is remembered as a classic, a testament to the talent and dedication of all involved. The 1968 movie Bullet, starring Steve McQueen, has left an undeniable mark on film history. Its high-speed car chase through the streets of San Francisco set a new standard for action sequences, influencing countless films that followed. Directed by Peter Yates, Bullet's realism and gritty style were a departure from the Hollywood norm of the time. The movie's impact extends beyond its innovative chase scenes. Its focus on character development and nuanced performances, especially from McQueen, helped to usher in a new era of more grounded and authentic leading roles. The film's influence can be seen in the works of directors like William Friedkin and Michael Mann, who adopted similar styles in their own films. Bullet has inspired a number of subsequent works, most notably the 28th film The Lucky Ones, which pays homage to the original in its opening scene. Additionally, the Bullet Mustang, driven by McQueen in the film, has become an iconic symbol in automotive and film culture. In conclusion, Bullet's enduring legacy is evident in its influence on future filmmaking and the many works it has inspired. Its innovative approach to action and character development has left a lasting impact on the film industry. Did you know that the 1968 movie Bullet, starring Steve McQueen, left a lasting impact on cinema? We'd love to hear about your experiences and memories related to this classic film. Perhaps you were captivated by the thrilling car chase scene, which is still considered one of the best in movie history. Or maybe Steve McQueen's cool and collected portrayal of Frank Bullet resonated with you. No matter what drew you in, Bullet likely left a mark on your perspective of cinema. We encourage you to share your stories with us and other viewers. Think back to 1968 and the first time you saw Bullet. What stood out to you? How did it influence your love for movies? By engaging with this post through likes, shares, and subscriptions, you can help keep the legacy of Bullet alive. You'll also be joining a community of fellow cinema enthusiasts eager to explore and discuss the impact of classic films. Don't hesitate to share your thoughts and memories. We can't wait to hear from you.